Oh, who say does that star-spangled banner yet Yeah, 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 huh, huh. Fella like it's me against the world, but I can give a who my opponent is. Game and I came here to change it. Speak my belief, now they call it dangerous. Taking a throne and I'm going to maintain it. I got to go down to just one of the places. Hello out there, and get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. And we're at the point of the season. Oh, such an exciting time, B.A. And for some teams, the playoffs start now. We've got bubble teams in both conferences battling for positioning, and every game has playoff implications. So a look at our starters for the Wizards. Mason Plumley out there with Julius Randle. Then there's Paul George. Then there's Boyan Bogdanovich. And it's Russell in at the one. Randle, the pass to Russell. Back to Randle. And it's Randle with the jam. Wow, Julius Randle with a little flavor on the finish. Curry against Russell. Curry passes to Nurkic. The ball's knocked loose. Back to Curry. Just five on the clock. New York needs to get one up quick. The timer ticks. The three-pointer off the mark. George against Thompson. George's shot is off. New York has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Nurkic passes to Thompson. Now Nurkic. George defending. Fade away. Nurkic's shot is good. Continuing to develop his jump shot. Nurkic draining his shot has helped his confidence moving forward. Russell finds George. Plumley a screen on Thompson. Inside. Nurkic against Bogdanovich. Randall on the screen. Shoots from 12. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Here's Curry. Second shot opportunity. And Robinson finishes it off. Well, this is where Mitchell Robinson can make his impact on the offensive end. Get the putback with that verticality. George against Thompson. Pass to Plumley. The three from Russell. He can't get it to go. Now the Knicks take it the other way. Even on the years he's not winning Defensive Player of the Year, Rudy Gobert finds a way to finish in the top three. This is one of the most consistent elite defenders in the game. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Boyan Bogdanovich picks one up. And look at Nurkic using his physique on offense, taking his shot and drawing a good foul. Shooting two. That's good from Nurkic. The doors with Gobert, it still feels like he doesn't get the credit he deserves. And B.A., at this point, I find that inexcusable. You just watch the game and understand the metrics to see the massive impact that Rudy Gobert has on winning. It is not only on the defensive end, either. Nurkic hits them both. Yeah, someone who has battled injuries. Great to see Yusuf Nurkic out there tonight. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Here's Randall. It's blocked by Gobert. Curry passes to Thompson. Outside Robinson. Pass to Thompson. To the wing on the left. Here's Curry. Fires from deep. 
Thompson, no good. Up top, Randall. Defended by Thompson. Randall can't hit. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Here's Nurkic. And Nurkic throws it down. Oh, the big man, Nurkic, from super close range. George outside. Outside Russell. Shot to win the cold streak. And another miss by Washington. The Knicks with the lead. Pass to Gobert. To the paint. Here's Thompson. Soft touch off the glass. Boy, beautiful shot off contact. That is what you get with a bigger guard like Clay Thompson. Now a timeout called by Washington. Washington. Look at the leaderboard, specifically rebounding and who has been crashing the glass over the last month. Second is Rudy Gobert. He's just been incredible on the boards over the last month of the season. He's a guy who plays with such desire. Washington trailing. Russell the pass to George. Russell a screen on Thompson. Three-pointer. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Surprising to see him miss here, but they'll be happy with that shot in most possessions. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And we think back to 2015, Grant. Clay Thompson with the best quarter in league history. Oh, B.A. 37 points from him in one quarter, setting an NBA record. Clay 13 for 13 from the field and 9 for 9 from deep, taking only four Shoot dribbles two. the entire time. Only Clay Thompson, guys. That free throw is good from Thompson. How about this, Doris? The Wizards haven't been to the conference finals since 1979. Unreal. That's exactly right, B.A., and it gives you some sense of how tough it is to be successful in the NBA because it's not that long ago that their backcourt consisted of John Wall and Bradley Beal. Many at the time considered it one of the most dangerous in the league and thought they would be here for over a decade. It does show you how hard sustained success is in the NBA. Well, get to the mid-range game. A three-level score. Paul George, yes, sir. Curry passes to Gobert. And here is Thompson, outside Curry, pass to Nurkic, the three from Thompson, Randall pulls down the board, Washington's gone 0 for 3 from downtown, Russell with the ball, he's covered by Curry, Russell the pass to George, Randall the screen on Thompson, stolen by Thompson! And here's Curry, guarded by Russell, back to Thompson. New York, no good that time either. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. And here are the Knicks. They've got a 12-2 run in progress. Pass to Curry. Go bear with it. Left side, Robinson. And it's stolen by Plumley. Gobert against Randall. There's Bogdanovich with the three. It's rebounded by Rudy Gobert. Gobert's got four rebounds in the game. Curry passes to Thompson. Good! Another from three. And all season long, he has been nothing but money from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been nothing short of amazing for him as he edges closer to third most three-pointers in a single season. Back to Plumley to the middle. Here's George. And George with the jam. Uh, how good is Paul George at getting separation? He uses the screen perfectly and sticks it to the defense. Robinson finds Nurkic. 
Washington with a rebound. Their last game, a win against the Magic. Looking to carry it into this one. Yeah, they hit the court last game with some serious attitude, especially on offense. And what surprised me was how easy they made it look. It seemed like they got something out of every possession. Outside Curry. Pass to Robinson. Here's Nurkic. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And Yusuf Nurkic, a solid role player, fits well into any team environment. A great passer and doesn't need touches to contribute. Shooting two. Good from Nurkic, and we saw last year. Nurkic can also act as a mentor with young players, Grant. Yeah, B.A., and that's a great veteran presence from Nurkic. Not a star player by any means, but a player everyone would want on their team. And the Wizards making a change here. Deadman's checked in for Plumley. Hayes comes in for Randall. T.J. Warren, he's checked in for Bogdanovich. And Milton subbed in for Paul George. And he makes both free throws. Over the last couple of seasons, Doris, the Knicks have played great defense. Well, look no further, B.A., than their head coach. Obviously, Tom Thibodeau built his reputation on the defensive end of the floor. It begins with attitude. It means playing on a string, being committed to each other. Everyone will play defense at all times. No possessions off. The three from Thompson hits the trifecta. Thompson's got 10 points in the game. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. Here's Milton. Here's Dedman. Uneasy two on the layup. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Pass to McGee. Here's Lynn, defended by Dedman. And here's Thompson for three. And Milton pulls it down. Washington has gone just one of six from downtown. Here's Russell, defended by Nurkic. Russell, the pass to Milton. Now Hayes. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for New York. Well, I, I like how focused they've been on getting the opposition into foul trouble, as well as coming through at the free throw line. Yeah, and what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game. A good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes. Lambs checked in for Nurkic. Free throw, no good. Well, for the Knicks, what's it going to take to bring them back to the glory days? Oh, that's a loaded question, B.A. But first of all, a superstar would certainly help. They haven't really had one for quite some time. If they can either develop or attract an elite all-star player, that would be a start to turning this New York franchise around and becoming possibly a contender. Russell, that's good. Well, he's getting better at absorbing contact. Finishes like this prove Russell is a tough, dynamic competitor. Hardaway against Milton. The three from Thompson. The rebound by the Wizards. Last time they met in Washington. They had a tough time beyond the arc. A lot of their possessions ended in missed threes. What was most disturbing to me was they didn't have a backup plan, right? The threes aren't falling. What do you do next? I'll tell you, a rough quarter for him, and that put so much pressure on the guys around him. Hard away with it. Milton covering. Lamb for three. Knocks down the long J. Well, you want some unselfishness from a guy who's capable of scoring. And Tim Hardaway says, you know what? My teammate's open. I'm going to get him the ball. Hardaway against Milton. Deadman, a screen on Hardaway. Here's Milton. Shot blocked. 
And as it goes out of bounds, Washington able to keep possession. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. Russell to pass to Hayes. Just three to shoot. Warren's shot is good. Well, so committed to scoring near the cup. T.J. Warren, nice touch. The Knicks with the lead. Thompson outside. Pass to Lamb. There's the screen by Lynn. For three, Hardaway. The shot no good. And Washington the other way now. Milton finds Russell. Back to Milton. Deadman a screen. Milton no good. And the Knicks shooting only 39% in the early going. Pass to Hardaway. And here is McGee. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. McGee, a screen on Russell. The three from Thompson, and Milton pulls it down. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. Deadman, a screen on McGee. Milton for three. Hardaway grabs the board. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. Russell against Thompson. Now Hardaway. In the game against Cleveland, very impressive. And again, the Knicks missing. Now here's Russell. Outside Milton. Russell a screen on Hardaway. Outside for Russell. 4-3. It's rebounded by New York. I'll tell you, it feels all night like this guy's been forcing shots, rushing shots. He's really struggling on the offensive end. Lynn is good. Now, even with that shoot first mindset, Clay Thompson willing and able to make a great pass. Washington trailing. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Russell. Nice D from Thompson. Can't get anything to go this period. Seems like he's hit a wall. It's Lamb on the wing. He's covered by Warren. Here's Thompson. Ooh, good work defensively by Milton. Boy, that's the kind of look this offense is designed to create. That's just a tough miss. And that concludes the first quarter of play. It's the Knicks up by eight. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. tuning in if you're just joining us we played through one quarter of action so far all right before we move on what do you guys think about what we've seen from the knicks well i'm really loving their activity i mean they're contesting shots they've really set a strong tone early well as a shooter when the ball is sent back in your direction enough times it can certainly have an impact on your mind they've got tim hardaway Alex Lynn is out there with Mitchell Robinson. Then there's Seth Curry. And it's Lamb in at the three, the small forward. That's the group for New York starting the second. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Thank you, Brian. Well, Paul George has certainly endured his share of criticism in the past. But he said, quote, I can't worry about that. It comes with the job. I am who I am. They can judge me on what they want. I'm going to go out there and hoop and give it everything I've got. And guys, he brings a lot to the table. No question. He is elite, Ali. Thank you. Boyan Bogdanovich checked in for Warren. George against Hardaway. Up top, George. Puts it up from 12. The Knicks pull it in. Len's got four rebounds now. They have a decent advantage in regards to rebounding. Outside Hardaway from behind the arc. Randall pulls down the board. Randall's got four rebounds now. 
Pass to Hayes. To the inside. And here's George. Fires for three. It's hauled in by Robinson. Curry against Milton. Curry's shot is off. The Wizards have got none of their first three shots to fall so far in the second. Bogdanovich against Robinson. Bogdanovich passes to Milton. Randall left side. Just five to shoot. The Wizards with another miss. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. And for Julius Randle, back in 2014, a nightmare start to his career, Greg. Oh, man, so sad. I mean, Julius breaking his leg just 14 minutes into his NBA debut. A serious injury that required him to miss his entire rookie season. But give Randle credit for coming back and carving out a great career. The shake. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. And you listen to the great defenders. They talk about disrupting the rhythm of a score. Doris, how do they accomplish that? I think it can occur, Brian, in any number of ways. The first thought you have, obviously, is being physical, obviously within the rules. You can try to deny touches. You can try to deny spots on the floor that players are trying to get to can also be psychological. Try to get under the skin of the offensive player you're contending with. And he makes a first. Guys, what you love about Julius Randle is the well-rounded nature of his game. Because he works so hard on his shooting ability, it makes his dribble drive that much more dangerous. Rudy Gobert's checked in for New York. Plumlee's checked in for Washington. And Randle drops them both. The Knicks have gotten only one of four shots to go in. George against Hardaway. Outside land. The three ball. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. He drops yet another dive. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Here's Randall. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's going to go on Mitchell Robinson. Well, with his strength, Julius Randle can absorb contact easier than a lot of players. This guy is not going to be intimidated. good on that one he does a great job of drawing contact and getting himself to the line something he didn't do in the first period and that trip coming up empty missing both getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their offense rolling lamb for three Milton pulls it down. Milton's got his fourth rebound in this one. Bogdanovich finds Milton. Back to Bogdanovich. Launches it. And again, Washington, no good. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. The shot by Lamb, no good. Washington's gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Milton passes to George. They set the pick. And he drives in. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Boy, when we talk about those elite two-way threats, Paul George's name is certainly high on everyone's list. And we know how dominant George can be on both ends of the floor doors. Well, consider he's a great scorer, a three-level scorer, and then he's able to guard perimeter and post players. That combination of size, length, athleticism, he continues to be a major threat in this league. That free throw, no good. What we know about Paul George, guys, is he's been a dominant force on both ends of the floor. He's proven he can be a number one scorer. He has also proven he can guard the opponent's best scorer. 
And the Knicks making a change here. Nurkic has checked in. And he sinks the second. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played. Nurkic, a screen on Milton. Curry passes to Nurkic. And Nurkic throws it down! When you think of Seth Curry, you're thinking shooting. But there, what a pretty pass to find the open man. And that replay courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. The Wizards have got nothing to go in this quarter. 0 for 5. And the Wizards call time here. That's a good timeout. They just can't hit anything. Sometimes it just feels like misses become contagious. He wants to settle his guys down right now. Take a look at the leaderboard with numbers from the last month. The best two guards scoring the ball. Third is Clay Thompson and, of course, Paul George. Yeah, the absolute best of the best at the shooting guard position. I mean, they can score the ball and flat out dominate defenses. You know, and that's why it often requires more than one man to defend against any of them. These players draw more double teams than any group in the league, and they still are able to put up points at a devastating rate. And Washington has possession. Down by 12. Oh, Grant, looking at the career of Boyan Bogdanovich. He's been so steady. Yes, he has, B.A. He's really Mr. Consistency. Always averages double figures. Always shoots it well from three. Boyan can play the three or the four. Someone you can really rely on as a teammate. And falls for Bogdanovich. I am never sure that Boyan Bogdanovich gets credit for being an elite basketball player, especially when it comes to his scoring ability. It's both from the stripe. And Bogdanovich doesn't do anything flashy necessarily. Which is why maybe, B.A., some people take this guy for granted. He is an efficient scorer. He's a dangerous three-point shooter. He can post a mismatch, and he's unafraid of the moment. Boyan Bogdanovich is one of my favorite guys in the league. Sinks the trade. Yeah, this is Tim Hardaway Jr.'s game. Knock down threes. Stretch the court, both horizontally and vertically. One, two. Here's Milton. Outside for Randall. And the ball out of play. The Knicks will have it. Unforced turnovers. He'll drive your coach insane. The Knicks have gotten four of their first nine shots to go here in the second. Hardaway, the pass to Curry. Down low. Oh, they get a hand on it. His fourth make in five tries. Solid start for him. And they're really rolling right now. That lead keeps getting bigger and bigger. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. Randall, the pass to Bogdanovich. Beyond the arc. The Knicks pull it in. Robinson's got six rebounds in the game. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Curry passes to Hardaway. He shoots. And misses it off the right side of the rim. He just couldn't finish the job that time. And too bad, because it was a nice look. Randall with it. Now guarded by Curry. The jump hook. Randall, good. Randall's gotten four this quarter. Such a multi-talented threat on the offensive end. And you love his confidence. Pass to Robinson. Curry with it. Jacks up a three. Rebound by the Wizards. 
Plumlee's got four rebounds now. Boy, he can't buy a bucket. Shut out completely so far, and yet they're still ahead. Milton finds George. Up and over Hardaway. Off the left rim and out. And I'll tell you, they're going to need more from this guy if they're going to cut into this deficit. Here's Curry. Count it after missing his first six shots. Now one for seven. Well, you know that Seth Curry will be aggressive regardless of where he is on the floor. Nice look inside there. Now a timeout called by Washington. Clay Thompson, he's checked in for Hardaway. And with three games remaining in the regular season, here's how the East stacks up. You take a look at the Knicks. They have looked in control all season long. Aren't showing any signs of taking their foot off the gas anytime soon. And, of course, the Wizards currently a ways below. Well, for the Knicks, their fans were expecting a lot from this team this year, and they haven't disappointed them. It's been a terrific season, and they're far from done yet heading into the playoffs. Washington has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Russell, the pass to George, shoots over Thompson. And again, Washington, no good. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Outside Curry. Pass to Nurkic. The three from Thompson. On target from range. Thompson's got 13. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Russell, a screen on Nurkic. Here's Warren. And it goes out of bounds. That went off Warren. Well, when you're careless with the basketball, you can expect that to happen. The Knicks making a switch here. McGee's checked in. The Knicks have gotten seven shots out of 14 attempts in the second quarter. Curry against Russell. Rebound Washington. I'll tell you, his shot is just lost right now. There's just no consistency. Amazing that they're still up in this basketball game. Cross is over. It's rebounded by Rudy Gobert. And for the Knicks, they're shooting about 41%. Pass to McGee. Now here's Thompson. Shot clock at five. And here's Nurkic for three. No good on the shot. And Washington the other way now. Russell, the pass to George. Deadman, a screen on Curry. Tries to break his ice. George's shot is off. This has not been his best quarter. And you know what? They keep calling his number, and they're simply trying to get him out of this funk. Russell against Curry. Out to Thompson. Puts up a three. Knocks it down from distance. He's got 16. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Plumley passes to Dedman. Here's Russell. Will it go? Rudy Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Here's Nurkic. Washington with a rebound. Here's George. A 20-point game for him in the win against Orlando. He was active all night on the defensive end as well. With all the steals he came away with, he had him totally rattled. He came out today planning to do as much damage from three-point range as possible. Well, it looks like it's time to change up the plan, guys. Warren against McGee. Here's Nurkic. Off target with a jump hook. Well, it's going to take something special now to get him back in this game. Unfortunately, it just doesn't seem like it. George, no good. And the Knicks shooting a decent 42% in the second. And 
there's Thompson on the assist from Nurkic. Thompson's got 18 points in the game. Clay Thompson can be one of the most lethal scorers in the league. It happens quick with this guy. Russell against Curry. Oh, McGee with the block. That makes him 0 for this quarter, and that has not helped their cause. Pass to Curry. Back to Nurkic. Plumley brings the double. Curry passes to Gobert to the middle. Here's Thompson. Ooh, that one makes him 7 for 14. Got a nice rhythm going here today. They just look so overwhelmed inside. That's why they continue to get attacked. And here's Dedman. Inside, McGee with a steal. Russell against Curry. Thompson outside. Let's it go from deep. That shot off. And Washington the other way now. A nice shot by McGee. And when you're the ones trying to fight your way back into the game, you simply cannot allow second chances. Well, how about the effort on the glass? Even with this lead, I love that they're still going after it. Here's Warren. Their offense stone cold. Another miss there. And here's New York now. Curry with it. He's averaging almost five points a game. And here's Thompson for three. It's rebounded by George. He is just so deadly from out there. You expect that to fall. Outside Russell. The Wizards with another miss. He's missed everything he's taken in this quarter, and it's making it very difficult for them to come back. Thompson passes to Curry. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Curry's got five points now this quarter. Well, you cannot let Seth Curry have room to shoot on the perimeter. You are asking for trouble. George against Thompson. Now here's George. Defense is right there. From deep. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. And so it's the New York Knicks cruising into the next quarter with a 30-point advantage. Great team defense on Paul George. They're limiting what PG is doing out there. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Coach, the offense is flowing. What will be your message?